in June 2022, all 27 members of the European Council agreed to grant Ukraine candidate status in the process of becoming a full member of the European Union. This grant of candidate status, however, is not the first step into closer relations between the two political entities, since Ukraine has been a long participant country in many European Union initiatives, such as the Eastern Partnership, established in 2009, the European Neighborhood Policy, launched in 2011, and finally, the Deep and Comprehensive Free Trade Area, established in 2017. Alongside Albania, Moldova, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Serbia and Turkey, Ukraine now joins the group of official candidate members which seek to become part of the European integration project. But, differently from these other candidate countries, Ukraine is in deep instability due to the ongoing Russian invasion of its territory. That being the case, the membership of Ukraine in the European Union, apart from representing economic and social benefits for its citizens and businesses, would also constitute a historical change in the European political and strategic status quo. In this video, we'll see the next steps that Ukraine needs to follow to become a full member of the European Union and also, if successful, what changes this outcome would represent in the European continent. After the granting of candidate status, Ukraine and the European Union move on to the formal membership negotiations in which the latter makes sure that the former is putting in practice the constitutional changes to integrate EU law with the national law, as well as making the necessary reforms that comply with fundamental rights and democratic institutions rules of the internal market and competitiveness, sustainability and the Green Agenda, and finally, related to defense policy and with external relations. Even though Ukraine and the European Union already share an association agreement, which comprises a free trade arrangement to access the EU single market in selected sectors, the stage of formal membership negotiations may be the longest one, as a result mainly of the great number of EU laws and standards in need to be implemented by Ukraine, but also because some important countries of the bloc, especially France, have been against further enlargement of the European Union before the efforts being primarily allocated to reform the current institutions. Even so, following the stage of implementation of the EU law and standards by Ukraine, the European Commission must provide its formal opinion on the readiness of Ukraine to join the bloc. This opinion will be taken into consideration when EU member states finally decide to vote if Ukraine should become a member of the bloc and, if successful, that is, a unanimous favorable vote, Ukraine and the EU member states proceed with the signing and ratification of the Accession Treaty, therefore making Ukraine the new member of the European Union. The first implication of such outcome, that is, Ukraine joining the European Union, would be related to the country's territorial characteristics. Ukraine, with an area of 603,000 square kilometers, would be the largest country in the European Union if excluded the overseas departments of France. Still, with the ongoing military offensive by Moscow, the territorial integrity of Ukraine would become a topic of discussion, especially with regards to the jurisdiction of EU law 
in areas that are, today, under heavy Russian military influence, such as the Donbass region or the Crimean Peninsula. On one hand, unsettled borders has not been an impeditive to being accepted as a member of the European Union, since Cyprus, which has joined in 2004, still has border issues with Turkey. On the other hand, however, it would be important to see if the European Union would be willing to accept a full member which is at war, in this regard being invaded by another country. The second implication of an eventual Ukrainian membership of the European Union would be related to the spheres of influence in the continent. As a former member of the Soviet Union, Ukraine has since been considered, at least by Moscow, part of the Russian sphere of influence in Europe and, in a lesser scale, as part of a buffer zone between the so-called Western world and Russia. With the Ukrainian membership of the European Union, things would start to change as the country would belong to the most important multilateral institutions regarding the European integration project. Therefore, with Ukraine becoming part of the single market, joining the networks of knowledge exchange provided by programs such as Erasmus, or even adopting the euro, would mean the increase of the sphere of influence of the European Union towards its eastern border, at the same time when the Russian sphere of influence would show signs of decrease. Considering this expansion of the European Union's sphere of influence, a third implication of Ukraine joining the EU would be the participation of the country in common initiatives related to defense and security. If Ukraine becomes a member, it would have the longest border of any European Union country with Russia, and, therefore, Ukraine would provide, alongside Romania and Bulgaria, extensive support for European common security efforts in the Black Sea region, a very important sea lane to the Russian Federation. Also, the process of Ukraine joining the EU would represent a driving force to stabilize the eastern European border with Russia, that is, putting an end to the direct conflicts which have been taking place since the Russian annexation of Crimea in 2014, thus improving the regional instability. In addition, by having the eighth most powerful armed forces in Europe, the Ukrainian membership of the European Union would increase the military capabilities of the bloc, which, in the long run, would further improve the implementation of the objectives related to the European Union common security and defense policy. And what do you think of Ukraine joining the European Union? Let your opinion in the comments below and I'll be glad to read your feedback. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider clicking the like and subscribe buttons. Big thanks!